Hello, my loves. Welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love. Thank you so much for joining me here for another spiritual reading. I'm so excited to do this reading for you. I've met, read some really like oh, conflicting astrology about what's going to happen for the new moon in Capricorn that is occurring on July 8th or 9th, depending on where you are in the world. And so I'm really excited to see what our beautiful MK Love fam angels are going to bring for you guys today. Now, please keep in mind that this is just a general reading. So whatever sticks into your subconscious at the end of the reading, that is your beautiful slash divine reading for you. So let's get cracking because I'm so excited to see. Now, first of all, we're going to get clarity using my favorite deck of cards. We have the beautiful um, Angel Oracle from Doreen Virtue. So let's shuffle them and see what's going on. Okay, Angels, can we just have one card for our beautiful MK Love fam for clarity on the full moon occurring in Capricorn, July 8th or 9th? This one card. This one. <gasps> there is nothing to worry about. Oh, we've got a lot of, can you see that? This is such a beautiful card. It's like whatever's been going on for you, it is a okay, my loves. You are safe, and this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation. I just heard that song. It's just emotions taking me over. Okay, um, only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcomes flows effortlessly to and through you. I just heard that Destiny song, child, that Destiny's child song, emotions. That's the only thing that I heard from that. It's like, you know, when you vibrate in the frequency of love and you do your self love practices to get you into. The vortex, you know, beautiful things happen. I think another one? No, I've been told to go to the next card. <laughs> okay, so the next deck is the newest deck to the family. This is Archangel Raphael. Now this is a healing deck. So let's see what types of healing areas we need to maybe focus on or maybe what this is about whatever comes up for you okay angels can we have clarity on there's nothing to worry about for a beautiful mk love fam for the new no full moon in capricorn on july 8th okay that was pretty prominent wasn't it quick ah i came through again caffeine free What's coming up for you right now? You're probably like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this is your prayer from Archangel Raphael. Dear Archangel Raphael, I ask that you cut my cords of attachment to caffeine so that may I so that I may honor my body's natural energy, rhythms, and chemicals. How have you guys been going with that one? I've been going pretty good. No, I haven't. I've been doing good with getting rid of sugar out of my tea. But today, I literally, you should see my stand here, I'll just lift it up. I literally brewed <laughs> tea party, anyone? Um, I've got peppermint tea here, so I'm not drinking chai tea. I'm kind of just having chai just for when I go out as a treat. But Peter has stopped coffee. No, he stopped coffee, not caffeine. It's just doing the, just taking it one step at a time, you know? I feel like we just need another card. Okay, angels, can we have clarity? Let me just move this around. Clarity on there's nothing to worry about in caffeine free for our MK Love fam. They already know about the caffeine. And they're working hard, aren't you? <laughs> am I recording? Yes, I am. Okay, clarity. I heard five. Four. Can you see that? Yeah. Three, two, one. I keep seeing this color. Increased energy. Oh, that's beautiful. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, you've got all the colors of the chakras right there. Okay, 
Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine love and light. I just want to read that one. See if there's any other hidden gems, but I just see it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of like um I just saw the scene from Beauty and the Beast when the beast basically the last petal falls and then the beast just no, is, is it when she kisses him or something? I think so. And the beast just, there's like all of these rays of light just jolting out of his body and then he transforms into a prince. That's what I see when I see that picture. Okay, let's see if we can get some clarity from my little book. Um, H-I-J-K, improve, there we go. Oh, I got the wrong book. Okay, this card indicates that your energy, all the energies of individual, all the individual you're inquiring about, is increasing as a result of recent positive change. Exciting, my loves. This is your validation to continue upon your present path. Ooh, that's nice. Energy levels are vital to health and healing, and Archangel Raphael can help you increase vitality, strength, and motivation. All you need to do is ask. Okay, additional meanings. Um, energy healing work can be helpful for your situation. Investigate whether too many electromagnetic frequencies are bombarding your home or office. Invest in one of these, a salt lamp, that will help with the negative ions. Um, call upon Archangel Michael to cut any F I never can say this one, etheric cords that could be draining your energy, energy or vitality. Eat high energy diet and avoid energy drain food and beverages. So it's like whatever those changes you've been making in regards to the caffeine, maybe you haven't completely gone um, cold turkey, you know, but you're making changes and you're knowing that that works truly best for you. If you've been watching my Instagram stories, you would know that turmeric lattes are a massive thing for me. And I really like, we're doing well. like. We just got confirmation that we're on the right path because our energy is basically the highest level of indication or um, a way to confirm how you're feeling and how close you are of closing the gap of resistance to manifesting your heart's true desires. This is good. Oh my God, I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comments. Okay, now let's go on to our numerology deck. I really like this one. I just am in love with the flower of life, this circle thing here. Everything is connected. Look closer at it. Can you see it? It's beautiful. And it's purple, which represents the crown chakra. Okay, angels, can we have guidance for MK Love Fam on there's nothing to worry about, caffeine free and increased energy for our beautiful MK Love Fam. This is an, I feel really good. This is another good energy. Last full moon wasn't good. You didn't get good energy but it was a good result for you. I was just confused. Okay, I'll stop talking then. Holy macaroni. I love partnership. Six and two is eight. That's infinite love and abundance. This could be taken so many ways. This could be the relate, but it's partnership. I was thinking the relationship with yourself. I'm taking it different ways. I'm taking it from like, it could be the relationship that you have with yourself because that technically is a partnership because you're working together. Um, or this could be a romantic relationship. Partnership I see as two things joining together. Two people that see things the same way and are taking action to further their connection or deepen their connection. Let's just see what, what this one says. This is good, Um. Okay. This card indicates a time when romantic relationship is about to enter your life. Woo, woo, woo. Perhaps you are single or about to meet a special mm, 
handsome one. Actually, I was listening to Gregory Scott's astrology and he was saying the other day that he never goes out. And then he's like, I'm definitely going out because of the connection astrologically to um, a love partnership. Or maybe your current relationship is about to progress to a deeper level of understanding and commitment. <laughs> I said when it was. <laughs> Either way, love is just around the corner, provided you believe. I just heard that song. Um, there can be miracles. Um, there can be miracles when you believe. Someone actually, um, that was off key by the way someone actually um suggested that song from Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey's my whole body is full of chills what woo, woo. um to add to our MK Love Spotify playlist I actually put that in the anthems playlist MK Love hashtag MK Love fan anthems that's so exciting okay Okay, in the meantime, you've been encouraged to focus on what you have to offer because you are fabulous, you are wonderful, and don't you know it? Oh, oh my God. Rather than what you would like to receive. Ooh, that, let me read that again. In the meantime, you've been encouraged to focus on what you have to offer rather than what you like to receive. By doing so, you will attract a mutually loving relationship that serves both parties' needs. Remember, you must believe that love exists in order to attract it into your life. So work on any limiting beliefs or negative thoughts you have about love. My recent video talks about releasing emotional blockages and episode two as a part of the Law of Attraction series. So check that out later. In order to improve your current situation, you've been asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of life. Cycles that are leading you towards a romantic love relationship. So, Love and appreciate yourself as you are today. Do yourself love practices. Sorry, I don't mean to point. <laughs> when I used to work for Disney, when one lad point, we had a point with just this. Um, so, love and appreciate yourself as you are today. Embrace your imperfections and be assured that you are worthy of love. Your loved one will appear when you know without a doubt that you are lovable and deserving. Now, if any of you are single and you're like getting super excited and you're jumping up and down, you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, this is amazing. Please check out my video, How to Manifest a Vegan Partner. They don't need to be vegan, but I just put it in there. Um, it gets more views. <laughs> but I, manifest, I manifested a vegan partner. It took me six years to close the gap of resistance and to release this old relationship and when I did no joke within about I wrote a letter to release my ex-partner and then I don't know if it was when I went to Hawaii and when I came back but there was like there was a trinity there was the three I can't remember if it was three weeks before I went away I think I had I think I did it before I went to Hawaii and then I met Dr. Master G. Gon Shah, and he was all about healing the body and going. Um, I've actually got a meditation in my meditation series called Love, Peace, and Harmony. And it goes, um, So, a love for humanity, join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. I listened to that song, it's 45 minutes. Every single night that I went to bed for three months. I also did a whole lot of other things as well. But that in conjunction really, really helped raise my vibration and you know, it closed the gap of resistance. I, I did the work, emotional work, to cleanse out all the crap that I had stored and you know that definitely helped a lot so yeah yeah i remember when i called my mom and i was like mom i just make just do master jig on she's like have you joined a cult i was like no i don't know what it is but like <laughs> this is when i was in um honolulu and yeah i didn't know what was happening because he speaks in different languages they sing through different languages in that song but I knew that the frequency is good because I knew as soon as I walked into the room, I had goosebumps and my 
I was like, Whew, well, I don't know what this is, but this feels good. I don't, I don't know what you guys are doing. There was like camera crews around, they were filming it for live stream and, and people were standing up and I don't know what was happening. It was a bit odd, nothing I've ever seen before, but I felt the vibration from the increased energy. It's like you just have this feeling, you just know. So if it, all, if it helps to raise your vibration by going caffeine free, do it, my loves, just do it. or divinely orchestrated you just have to keep you know doing the self-love practices visualizing that beautiful man or you know if you're already in that relationship then your relationship's going to develop on a level that you have never experienced before and that is something that money can't buy isn't that beautiful don't you just love that you have the power to have things that people can't buy not even the richest people in the world can feel this level with money you have to do the internal work and I think for me, I've got goosebumps talking about this. This gets me really, really excited because the love is here. It's, um, I just heard that song. Love is in the air. Da -da -ba -da -da -da. I'm terrible with lyrics, by the way. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so this is, um, this is your affirmation. I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Let's say that again. I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Say it again. I don't know how, but I don't know, but I don't, I don't know when, but love is on the way. When I used to be a primary school teacher with my kids, the last class I had was year three and they were from um, the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago. They were like kids that could seriously dance and beatbox. So we, I used to teach them things through songs. So they would go bump, uh, bom, bom, tsh, bom, bom, tsh, bom, bom, tsh, bom, bom, tsh. So I would literally go, like, I wouldn't teach them this. Well, I would now, knowing what I know. Um, so I would say, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Everybody, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Everybody, I don't know how, I don't know when, but love is on the way. Everybody, you know, just... My vibration is lifting from doing this reading. This is really good. Yay! Yay! I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. I knew that I would now. Okay, last deck. Oh, I got a surge of tingles. This is powerful. Transformate. Transformative? Transformation. I don't know. Transformative, isn't it? Energy. Anyway, it's good. It's good. It's really, 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 really good. Okay, so we're on our last deck. Now, this is the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. Biggest deck that it's very difficult to shuffle, but I've pre shuffled it. Angels, can we please have clarity? I know I'm rambling. On oh, full moon in Capricorn, July 8th or 9th, depending on where my MPL fam are in the world. There's nothing to worry about. Caffeine free, increased energy, and a love partnership, which signals. 26 joined together is eight infinite love and abundance. What? Can we have this? This is the last card, okay? Because then we're chatting a bit too much. What? I, I asked for one, not two. Queen of Earth, holy crap. Okay. I feel like I should shuffle again, but this is what came up, so I'm gonna trust my intuition. Queen of Earth, oh, sorry. <laughs> Beautiful! Look at that beautiful energy. She's on fire. This girl is on fire! <gasps> Did you know, a fun fact, I never used to sing in front of everybody. Anybody. Nobody. Except when I was at home or in the car. And now I sing for you. Do you believe what self-love does? Okay. So, Queen of Earth is thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible. I like that. She's sensible, but she knows how to have fun. So it says, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with cha challenges in a kind and understanding manner. What do I see? I just see like there's other things going on, but you're focusing. <gasps> I see two beautiful rabbits. Two is like when you see two things together, that's like, um, the yin and yang. Speaking of yin and yang, boop. I just have my crystals and angels next to me while I breathe. Okay, 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 okay. What else do I see? I see green, which is the heart chakra. 
but she is yellow, which stimulate um, is the solar plexus, which is the emotional center of the body, and also creativity. I kind of see a pumpkin. I don't know. Can you see that just like there? Let me just tap on so you can see. I kind of see like that's the pumpkin from like Cinderella and that she's like using her. Like she's the queen. Like you don't get any better than the queen. You are the queen, my loves. Oh, dude. Yeah, I kind of see like it's the pumpkin and she's like using her magic or her getting into the vibration of love, doing self-love practices by, you know, getting rid of decreasing the caffeine and, you know, having increased energy and love partnerships and that she's like, boo! And it's just like, she's turning this pumpkin into a carriage, like Cinderella. Like, I'm saying like a lot. It's not good. Can you see a P there? Can you see that reflection of whatever is from outside? Well, now I see an F and a question mark. What does that mean? Does that mean anything to you guys? A P and then I saw an F and then I saw a question mark. Now it's a P, it's definitely, I don't know. Okay, let's read what that one says. Queen. Then I heard of Queen, the band. Um, you can dance, you can die, having the time of your life. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, where's Queen? Queen, 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 Queen of Earth. Okay, so when you look at this this deck, it's a little bit different because it tells you a situation or it gives you a perspective for a person. So the situation for Queen of Earth is remember to enjoy time with other people. You have much to give, whether family, friends, or those less fortunate. Handle any challenges with understanding and warmth, but also with confidence and resourcefulness. Oh, that's powerful. Okay, for people, it says someone who cares about others and is quick to lend a hand. A person who's warm, creative, intelligent, and able to efficiently solve problems. Unselfish. Family orientated, sensible, excellent with money, down to earth, yet enjoys beautiful things. Additional meanings. Prosperity. A sensible approach. A green thumb. A love of children, animals, sensuality. That could be taken so many ways. The creativity comes in being creative to turn that pumpkin into a carriage and thoughtful because that's going to make someone's day sensible because you put a time frame on it. Wow, make time for those around you. It's interesting that it brings up the challenges card because when I was looking at the astrology, there was a lot, just from one side that I normally watch, listen to, and I was like, what? Yeah. Because when you vibrate in the frequency of love, you have the ability to have like this protective armor that comes over you and you'll be able to deflect things that don't serve you. Yeah. Okay, then I got this other card, but I don't know if I want to show you this card. I'm going to show you anyway because it came... I only asked for one, but then two flopped over, and I feel I have to show you this one. Okay, so this one is the Four of Water, which is about missing an opportunity. Like, you see the beautiful chalice? Is it a chalice? Yeah. Chalice and the jewels down the bottom, and she's, like, got her head down. It's like, oh, now I see it. If you spend more time with your friends and family, it's like you're getting out more. Obviously, you're working too hard, and you're becoming, like, too... Oh, damn it this attached to me it's like your work you're doing all work and no play which is like you have to find that balance you have to have the balance like there's no point doing all of this good stuff just for you if you're not sharing it with other people and I see that there's three 
there's one ma massive cup, but there's three behind. So that's four. I can't remember what the numerology of four is though. It's just like you got your head down. All I see is that you, you're focused, but you need to like put your head up and go outside, smell the roses kind of thing. But let's find out more clarity. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Sometimes it's all, I, 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 I just heard perspective. You know, some people um, could look at that and be like, she's on a mission, she's doing the thing. But if you don't have the balance, then illness and disease can actually manifest within your body. I kind of see this as like a warning. It's like, sort it out, my loves. Okay. Um, but I don't see it as like, make or break it's kind of like not a red flag but it's kind of like you're at the stoplights and it's just like just preparing you so you can accelerate green does that make sense okay let's read what it says it's time to reevaluate your situation because you're currently missing an opportunity the the solution you're seeking is right in front of your face fortunately positive fortunately positive forces are working to assist you now Open your eyes to the possibilities and accept the help that is offered to you. Ooh, that's massive. Especially if you're like me, a bit of a control freak, that is hard to do. <laughs> However, you may be distracted or feel emotionally trapped. It's possible that by focusing on what you don't have, you're taking for granted the things that you do. Ooh, ooh. Was that in this? No. That was focused, oh, that was on this one, that came up in this one too. Focus on what you have to offer instead of what you desire. Because you have so much to bring to the table. Um, 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 um. Where are we up to? Fortunately, positive changes are working to assist you. Now, open your eyes to the possibilities and accept the help that is offered to you. However, you may be distracted or feel emotionally trapped. It's possible that by focusing on what you don't have, you're taking for granted the things that you do. That's when you need to do your rampage of appreciation. It's like, I love my bed, I love my pillow, I love my beautiful MK Love fan. I love my hair that it's like messy today and I don't have it up. I love my top, I love that I have a microphone. I love that I sold my dining room table and chairs because it didn't spark joy. I love that my garage has turned into a camping area if you've been following me on my Instagram stories. I have a tent set up there and Peter and I spent the past two nights camping in our garage because we just bought a new tent and that sparks joy because that brings us back to the connectedness of mother nature and simplifying living. I love my computer. I love that I have a beautiful um, vision board that I made that I showed you in my Law of Attraction series. I love that I have sun. I love that I have my solar lamp outside charging. I love that we have a beautiful clothes and I love that I've got fresh basil and sitting outside. Do you see what I'm doing? That's focusing on um, what you're grateful for. You know, you could do it just in your body. You're like, I love my legs. Do you want me to show you what I'm wearing today? This is totally off topic. I'm just gonna put my microphone down. One minute. And by the way, I never used to show my legs. And I'm this sh skirt is considered short for me. It may not be short for you, but it is short for me. Let me show you, ready? Let me just pull it down. Can you see? I have my socks on, by the way. But like, I love my legs. I love my body. I love my skirt. I love my belt. I love this top because it's short and I can wear it with all my high-waisted things because it totally accentuates my waist. Do you get my drift? Do you see what I'm doing here? Basically, you need to go back and watch my whole Lore of Attraction series. It's like 16 videos, so you can binge watch me. You're welcome. Just brew a big cup of tea and then just watch me and start implementing the strategies and tools that I'm teaching you because it's going to help elevate your frequency. I'm almost at 30 minutes. Oh my God, i got to hurry up. Okay. Additional meanings, discontentment, apathy, daydreaming, getting lost in your own little world, missing something or boredom. Do you get it? I think, I think this was like, I was meant to read that one. I was a little bit, oh gosh, sorry. Sorry. Took my jumper off and I just like totally threw out the sound. Um, yeah, I think this is good. I feel good about this one now. It's just like 
socialize, you need other people around you, that environment to bring you into like, you can't just go through life by yourself. It's no fun. It's best to share things with the world. Anyways, my love, we are at 30 minutes and I need to wrap this up. I could talk all day. So let's do a quick recap. Are you ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready to rumble? I feel good. This is great, 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 great energy. Even more exciting for me because I'm learning that I'm also clairsentient, which means I can feel feelings from my angels. Which makes me feel really good. Okay. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> Keep going with this caffeine free kick. It's going to pay off massive dividends for you towards the end. Um, I'm noticing a massive increased energy with you. This is also a very transformative, I can't say that word, um, energy. It's really, really, really favorable. Love is in the air. Da -da -ba -da. You're getting lots of songs today. This is the queen. Oh, I heard that song. I'm the queen of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's Whitney Houston, isn't it? Yeah, so make time for family, you know? You are creative, you're doing your work, you know, there's mass, oh, that's a transformation energy coming around too. As, remember I said I could see that pumpkin, like that massive, like, boom, you've got the power. I've got the power. And don't get too focused on your work. Spend time with friends because obviously you are missing the chalice. Can you see that? My loves, I'm so excited for you. So many good energies. I've got tingles. I don't know if it's because I'm cold and I just took my jumper off, but this reading made me a little bit hot, but now I feel really good. I feel really good. I'm so excited for you. Comment below. Let me know, my loves, what is going on for you? What, has, what message is stuck into your subconscious for the end of this reading? Because that is your like divine little love letter from the universe, from me to you. Also, my loves, if you would love a private spiritual reading with me, please click on the link below. I have a wait list at the moment, soon to be open. Uh-huh. I'm very excited. I'm just finishing off my website. It's been a, a little rocky experience. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you show your support to my channel by giving a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment below and let me know what popped up to your subconscious. And make sure you check the link in the description to sign up for a uh, private spiritual reading for me. These are gonna be pre-recorded. Um, so my internet isn't too, uh, how do I word this properly? Wouldn't it be lovely if I had truly fabulous, reliable internet at home, but I don't. So they're gonna be pre-recorded. Click on the link in the description. Sign up for the waitlist, and I'll see you next episode. I love you. Goodbye.